In this video I would like to show you how to turn this Mixamo backflip animation into this backflip animation where the character jumps off from a platform. First you need to download this animation for Mixamo, you can search for backflip and select it. And under download you can choose to download it with or without skin. Without skin it will be much faster. And then in Cascader go to the scene file where you have the same character rigged as I showed it in the previous video. Go to import animation and select the fbx file. So now you have the animation imported. First I will add a cube and put it on a new folder. And I assign the mesh of the cube to this newly created folder. You can change the position and size of the cube with the manipulators and then to move the character up to the top of the cube you need to select the center of mass, the whole interval of the animation and turn on interval edit mode with step mode selected. And then with the translator move the center of mass to the top of the cube. So now the character does a backflip on top of the cube, but we want it to land on the ground. Find the frame where the character lands and select that interval. And again move the center of mass to the ground where you want it to land. So maybe like here. So now if you play the animation it looks like it jumps and it teleports to the back. But now if you select the interval where the character is in the air and the last frame should be where it lands you can add a ballistic trajectory here. You can already snap the center of mass to this ballistic trajectory but it looks horrible. You can edit the ballistic trajectory, set the height and the distance. I will keep the distance as it was because we already set the position where the character should land. Now in the timeline you can see that the jump should take from 20 to 50 frames instead of 20 to 40. To stretch the interval, keep the interval selected, press Ctrl T and with the mouse stretch out the interval to frame 50. And now you can snap the center of mass to the ballistic curve. Now you can check the ballistic ghost to see the rotation of the body and snap it uh, to the ghost if you like how it looks. Now it already looks quite okay but I want to make some little changes. For example I want to stretch out the body a bit longer and a bit more at this position. So I will select an interval around this part of the animation and change this part with Bezier interval edit mode with the pivot point set to moving and to see your changes better you can turn on ghost mode and edit that way. I would like to exaggerate the arc before the jump straighten the legs in a way that they point towards the takeoff position and move the arms more over and behind the head. I also want to tuck a bit tighter so there is more contrast between the arc and the tuck poses. I kind of broke the neck of the character during the flip as it snaps back and forth. In this case it's easier to remove the unnecessary keyframes all at once with Alt F and keep only the key poses. Then as usual set the interpolation between these keyframes. And since we made a lot of changes to the poses during the backflip, we can apply the ballistic ghosts again to make it look even better. And I love how easy it is to make these kind of changes to achieve a decent result.